Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 23 and verses 1 to 3. Jesus has been tortured and questioned all night long in a trial, which was illegal by their own standards. But now they bring Jesus to Pilate, and let's see what happens. Then the whole multitude of them arose and led him to Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to pay taxes to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ, a king. Then Pilate asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him and said, It is as you say. So here's the line, right? They take Jesus to the Roman governor because they themselves don't have the power. The Roman power has the power to bring this final decision. And notice the charges here. He's perverting the nation. He's forbidding to pay taxes to Caesar. And he says that he is a Christ, a king. So they're making it a political set of arguments. Their arguments were spiritual. You know, are you the Messiah? But now the plan is we're going to get him condemned and get, we're going to get him out of the way. No matter what it takes, we're going to get see that he's dead. Notice that Jesus um, says it's as you say. He doesn't agree to the charges because we know these are false charges. But what is true is that he is the great I am. He is the king. He is a king. He, he's, his kingdom is not of this world, right? That's in John, not in Luke, but we know that. And so Pilate's going to examine him. Now, if he had any political uh, aspirations against the Roman Empire or against Caesar or against Pilate, we know Jesus would pay the ultimate price for that. Now, the Romans would not put up with that. They would just say, well, take him out and kill him then. and We're, we're done here. But instead, it's going to go differently, but we'll see that tomorrow morning. I think Jesus is, he, he, he knows what's happening. Obviously, he knows what's happening. His appearance to Pilate is, is going to be startling and disruptive to Pilate. Pilate. Pilate recognizes right away, this guy is not a political guy. Jesus isn't a political guy. Jesus is about something else, something that even Pilate's going to recognize is something that he doesn't want to be against. But anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. But Jesus now, the trial proceeds, and now he's on trial before Pilate, the Roman governor. Imagine how the Jews must, these Jewish accusers must have felt. They hated the Romans, but they're going to use the Romans to kill Jesus. I mean, it just shows you, again, even more the depths of evil to which they've sunk. Well, let's, let's pray as we continue working our way through this passage. Dear Father in heaven, now we see Jesus brought before Pilate. The charge is laid out against him and an attempt there to put it into the worst light. Lord, we just pray that we will have insight when, when people are accused before us or when we are accused before others that they'll have insight. But either way, help us to simply be true, just like Jesus is simply being true here. He is a king. He is a king. We don't want to forget it, Lord. We serve the king. And may we continue to do so. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, you have a really good day, and may, may God's blessings be upon you.